Hello and welcome to Technical Spark. How to guide? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can safely prepare your computer to sell or donation. This video I have prepared in two parts. First part is if you want to sell your personal PC to somebody else or you want to donate, so in that way, how you can prepare that particular computer. And second part is when you are using your office computer and after some time suppose you have resigned from the company and you want to hand over that pc to your office so in that situation how you can prepare your pc to submit in the office this video is going to be little long so please watch till the end and if you are new in our channel then please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below and press on the bell icon so that you will never miss my future video notification so let's jump into the computer screen Guys, very first, you want to be sure that when the next owner gets your personal computer, it becomes there and doesn't remain yours, which means you will have to remove all your personal data from the computer. There is couple of things to think about when it's time for your computer to leave. One thing you don't want to do is just going to the file explorer, either delete or copy these files to another computer, uninstall couple of applications and go wow my programs applications are not on the desktop everything grades right nope stop don't do that windows store lot more your personal information in your computer user folder and a registry that's not readily accessible but you can get to them but that is advanced function for an example your programs you register them you purchase the license copy of those softwares Uninstallation the program will not remove your name or activation code, activation codes from windows. Those are going to be stored in your windows registry. So in that situation, the person to which you are selling this computer, if that person download the same application and install in your PC, it will get automatically activated with your previous registration license key because it remembers who you are, even through you are not using the PC. Except what happened when you give your PC to somebody else? those information remains there. So how do you remove it? In theory, you could go through the registry and every hidden folder or hard drive and try to find everything. But still there is a lots of thing you are going to miss it. Furthermore, deleting files. Deleting files are just deleting the pointers through which it get accessible. But all those information still present in your hard disk. I have already created video on that topic how you can recover your deleted files. If you want to know more about this, just click on the i button at upper right corner. So all those information will be in your hard drive until and unless it's not wiped out completely and all zero are written in your hard disk. And then only you can confirm that your data is actually destroyed. So just going into the windows explorer and deleting all the data or going to the control panel and deleting the software is not good enough. However, thankfully Microsoft has provided one solution that is easy to use and this is inbuilt in your PC. So what this solution is system restore. So I'm gonna show you how you can reset your PC to like new computer and wipe all your information and post that it's very safe for you to sell or donate your computer to anyone else. All your personal information like images, videos, softwares, documents, everything will be a wiped out and no one can recover your information from the computer. Guys, before you start with this process, make sure you have taken all the data backup to your external storage because all the data is going to be permanently deleted in this process. To start prepare your computer for sale, just go to the windows and click on the settings. In settings, just scroll down and choose update and security. In update and security, in the left hand side panel, choose recovery. In this screen, we have two options, but this is the first option we are care about. Reset this PC. If you watch this carefully, you will get to know if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This let you choose to keep your personal file or remove them and then reinstalls windows. So we are going to choose this first option. Click on get started. 
in this wizard we got two option keep my files and remove everything guys even through if you choose keep my files this is useful when your computer encounter any error and you want to troubleshoot that but even through you choose this first option it's not guarantee that all your files will be safe windows might delete some files and this is happen with me one time but for resetting purpose we are going to use this second option remove everything here we got some additional settings let's click on change setting in advance we have to turn both the option on data erase and data drives so this first option will remove all the files and clean the drive and this may take hours actually this is depending on your computer hard disk sometime it take 2 to 3 hours also so you have to be very patient and second option is remove all files from all drives so i have turned both the options on and now let's click on confirm after confirmation it providing us the same information now click on next now this is a final step so what it will do resetting will remove all the personal files and user account on this pc remove any changes made to settings remove all the application okay guys again i warn you please take all the data backup before clicking on reset and once you done just click on reset now this process is going to be take a lot more time resetting this pc guys in my pc this process took 20 minutes my hard disk size is 80 gb so in your situation if you are using 500 gb hard disk or 1 tb hard disk so you may just think how much time it will take it will take around 3 hours to 5 hours so whenever you have time only that time you should run this process and this is very useful because once you reset your system using this reset this pc button then nobody can recover your data and since you already have taken the backup of your data so all your data is safe i guess you might be thinking that see you can simply format your pc but even if you format your pc there is a chances that the next person can recover your data and this is 100% true installing windows which means it's just installing your its a default application like a brand new pc friends now computer is completely wiped out and we got the option here let's start with the region and rest assured your all data has been deleted successfully which is the keyboard us so let me finish all the you know basic things windows 10 license agreement accept select setup for personal use next since you are giving this computer to someone else just click on apply an account select limited experience type here and name like sohan click next if you want you can give a password here and click on next confirm password next set up in question let me finish all this and click on next click on no accept accept and you are done great now your pc is ready to donate or sell now friends this is part 2 of this video and in this part i am considering that when you have joined your office that time your company provided one laptop or desktop machine for you to work on and for any reason now you have to submit your pc and at this time what precautions you have to make so that only company data will remain in your laptop and all your personal data credential will be wiped out from your pc so for that first of all we'll have to go to the control panel just right click on the start button and select run or you can press shortcut key which is windows plus r and type control c o n t r o l and press on okay so control panel will get open in your pc in the right hand side make sure you have selected small icons once done then click on credential manager in credential manager if you have saved any password in your browser then those password will be listed here and in windows credential whatever the password which you have 
saved in your any of the application and those password will be listed here so as you can see i have some three credentials saved in my pc which is generic credential now here we'll have to just drop down this and click on remove yes again so whatever the credential is listed here we'll have to remove all the credential this is the first step now second go to the control panel again and select programs and features apart from your office application you can uninstall third party application which you have installed in your pc for an example i have installed tera copy in my pc which is not provided by office so just uninstall this yes the software will get uninstalled similar way you can uninstall other software which you have installed personally once this is done just close this now open your browser maximum people are using chrome browser once browser is open you will see one option which is current user if you are logged in in your browser using gmail id then you will see that particular account here so on that account we'll have to click on sign out so that all your account related information will be removed from your browser once done just click on close and reopen the browser post that you will have to click on this three dot at the right hand side and click on settings in setting search for history we'll get the option clear browser history click on that go to the advanced menu and whatever the options available here take mark all those options it will delete your browsing history download history cookies cache password which is saved in the browser and everything and click on clear data once done close the chrome browser similar way you can perform these steps on other browser for an example here i have open edge browser in edge browser also click on the three dots and look for a history in history just click on clear history choose all the options password media license and everything and click on clear all history is cleared from your pc once this is done open your windows explorer click on this pc guys before deleting anything make sure you have taken backup of your personal data from your office ka pc to your external storage device in windows explorer just open the d drive and whatever your personal information is there just select all those information and press shift plus delete so that it will delete all your files permanently if you just perform normal delete like right click and delete or just press the delete button on your keyboard then all those files will be moved to recycle bin which is anybody can recover just by right clicking on this let me show you right click and restore so that is reason you will have to choose shift and delete key to permanently delete this file now next thing you will have to do is now go to the c drive and check if you have any personal folder which contains your personal information if available then please go ahead and delete that once done go to the users in my pc i am logging from my sohan ji account so open that go to the desktop and you will see if there is any file available just delete all those files second go to the documents if you have any file available then just delete all those files shift delete downloads if you have any file just click on shift delete favorites link one one drive is probably your office one drive so don't mess with it but if you have any personal information in this one drive then delete all those apart from your office document second same go with the pictures and check if you have any personal pictures or videos if available then delete similar way check for the videos if there is anything available then delete all the files that's it guys these are the things which you have to perform when you are ha handing over your pc to your it team guys i hope you like this video if so please smash on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe i'll catch you in the next one